So Floyd Mayweather won the light heavyweight, no light. <laughs> fucking, this is. Can you fix that, bro? Hole throughout the tee. Hey what's up guys, welcome to another episode of Official Vintage TV. Today we're going to be going through August um, Tyler's collection. It's a drop we do it at the end of every single month where I curate the drop. But this uh, month's going to be a bit special. We're going to be doing all the boxing tees that we've been saving over the last couple of months. So yeah, we're going to do it a little differently. So we're going to I've picked five tees that are my favourite in the drop. And then we're just going to tell you a bit about the history of the tee, the history of the fight. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a bit different for Tyler's collection this time, but yeah, let's get into it So I want to start us off with a super cool tee. This is probably one of my favorites in the drop um, This is the Tyson tee. So it's the front and back Tyson and Salden um, This got crazy back print as well. And um, the story behind this was the champion versus champion as the WBA um, Championship fight which was on in September the 7th 996 um, this is a cool fight. Yeah, so I'll bring it closer so you guys can actually see it it's got some of the craziest graphics in a t-shirt. Um, it's got the MGM Grand on it as well. So this fight was super short. What happened was Tyson knocked him down in the first minute and a half. Um, he got back up and then Tyson knocked him out straight away after that. So it was a super short fight and a first round knockout. So it was said that Salden was so embarrassed by the fight um, that he didn't come back to professional boxing till 2004. So an interesting fact about this fight is Tupac was in the crowd. Um, hours after this fight, he was shot dead in the infamous shooting. Um, yeah, so that was a cool little fact that you guys would want to know. So our next tee is another super cool tee. We've got another Tyson tee here. So this is Tyson versus Botha. This is an interesting one because Tyson literally just came off his band a year and a half before. Um, he got in a band because of Holyfield. He, he bit Holyfield's ear off, which is probably one of the most historic things in the boxing in the 90s. So this um, fight was fought in 1999, and this was the first fight back after his band. So this is a big one. It's probably one of his biggest fights and well-known fights as well. So I'll do the same thing I sort of did for the last year. I'll show you the details of this one because this one's crazy. Got the crazy print and the face on the tees are super detailed as well. And the colors as well, so nice. As you can see, most tees are big front prints for these boxing tees, which I really like. Um, like you can see here, like you can see here, and they're just super well done. Um, a lot of them are on this um, MCM Grand Tag, which is the most sort of popular tag for um, boxing tees. Through this time, Mike Tyson was going through, through a sort of um, crazy period. He was literally saying in the interviews before it, he's going to kill this guy. He's gonna, he was super cocky about it as well. So it was made to be an interesting fight. So pretty much in this fight, the first four rounds were super interesting where both was dominating the fight. Um, yeah, he was pretty much just dominating the fight. Tyson couldn't connect any of the, his punches and he was getting super frustrated. Both was super good at dodging and it was um, frustrating Mike Tyson. By the end of the fourth round, um, Tyson was getting super frustrated at this point where he was grabbing both his arm. And after the bow went, they were still fighting. So the ref having to separate both of them. After the warning from the referee, Tyson kept doing it. And then um, both of them were saying he was trying to pretty much break his arm. And then Tyson just got another warning. So by the fifth round, um, both of got pretty cocky. He pretty much put his left arm down and he was taunting Tyson through the fifth round. Within the last 12 seconds of the fifth round, um, Tyson knocked out both of them and that was the end of the fight. So Tyson ended up winning the fight by knockout. So our next tee was George Foreman versus um, Axel Schultz, which is a German dude. This was a celebration boxing match um, held in, in 95. This fight was notable because it stripped Foreman of his WBA heavyweight championship title. So the reasoning behind Foreman getting stripped of his WBA title was because he was supposed to fight a guy called um, Tony Tucker. So then he decided to go ahead with the fight with Schultz, which allowed WBA to strip him of his title. No one was surprised when Foreman went in as a 6-1 favorite versing Schultz because he was pretty much an unknown at that time. So Schultz surprised everyone throughout the fight um, with his speed and agility and he was pretty much just doing circles around Foreman, hitting him with a whole bunch of right hands. The 
whole fight lasted through the whole 12 rounds. As the last bell rang, Foreman's eye was um, so swollen that it was swollen shut. Um, there's iconic photos of him on the internet as well, of him just having like one super puffy eye. And then the fight turning into a judge's scorecard where a lot of people had thought Schultz had won. But in the end, Foreman won by majority decision, but it's still pretty controversial to this day. So the next tee we got is Bode versus um, Gonzalez. This is unusual because it's a grey tee. You don't really see too many greys, they're always on black tee. So the HBO Heavyweight Championship was against Bode and Gonzalez. Um, this fight was pushed as they were mortal enemies. So Bode and Gonzalez, when the fight was announced in 1995, they got in a whole bunch of um, physical altercations um, outside of the ring and it was just leading up to be a massive fight. Gonzalez talked a big game but Bo pretty much took control of the whole fight. So both fighters were playing dirty and getting in a whole bunch of physical altercations after the bout. So in the end Bo won with 1 minute and 40 seconds to go in the 6th round and he won by knockout. It was a super good fight. I love this tee just because of the colours and you don't really see it on a white tee. I'll show you guys the detailing of the tees. I love the reds and the yellows in it. And the tag that this is on is one of those KO tags. Which is also another big boxing tag. So the last tee for this drop, um, this is a bit of a newer one. This is 2007, it's De La Hoya versus Mayweather. This was the World Awaits fight, um, just because there's so much hype behind this one, just because there wasn't too many boxers pretty much from the early 2000s. So at the time, it was the most lucrative boxing match ever. It was brought in 130 mil um, in revenue, which is crazy. They had, boxing hadn't seen that money since Tyson. I don't know if that's a fact or a real. <laughs> Uh, let's just... so, <laughs> so how this fight went was it went to it went the full 12 rounds and then it went to a decision at the end where Mayweather won. So Floyd Mayweather won the WBC light middleweight championships um, because of this fight. And also Floyd Mayweather said he's better than Muhammad Ali. Let us know what you think in the comments. Um, this is a graphic of the T. It's a bit of a newer graphic. It's on the Gildan but it's pretty nice. They kept it um, all round for, it's just like an old boxing 90s tee, which is cool. So that's just a sneak peek of what's going up in my collection. This is gonna be going up on the 31st of August, so make sure you don't miss it. Also make sure you like, subscribe to this video. Um, but yeah, this is our first ever boxing drop, a full boxing drop of about 30 tees. Um, but yeah, see you next time.